Why is your ex an ex? My friend sent me a screenshot of the secret OkCupid okay profile saying he was looking for flings. Said she wanted a change. Coincidentally at the same time that I finished paying for her college. Neither of us wanted to relocate coasts. It's boring but true. I wish her the best in life. 4 years never cheated. She cheated twice. Nobody's perfect excuse. I have problems too. I'd work all day to pay bills. She brought a homeless guy home. Let him live in our house while I worked without my knowing. Ate my food. Played my games. Banged my lady while I paid for it all. SHTF. Months later attempt to rekindle the flame. Go sour. A week later I'm pregnant text. Lots of long nights and deep thinking about life. Except that I must be a father to my child. Another week passes it's not actually yours it's homeless guys. I just thought you would be a good dad. She didn't believe in dinosaurs. She hit me with a car. She got pregnant with another guy's child. Edit. You can't always stick to severely mentally ill people in a relationship and expect it to work out great. Edit. Thanks everyone. My ex is not a bad person. Just horribly depressed. Sometimes you think you've found a soulmate when in reality your demons just get along really well with theirs. Edit. My ex, but also friend, saw this and now she won't talk to me. He wanted to date someone exactly like him. And I couldn't be that person. He made me feel guilty for not enjoying everything he enjoyed. If he hadn't ended things. I was going to. We just weren't compatible. She didn't want to commit. But she didn't want to be alone. She liked to pretend that she didn't need my company. And that life was a cabaret. But she did. And it really wasn't for her. Something in her was afraid of getting too close. I just got tired of it. F ked my brother while our daughter was in the hospital, one year old. Been married 18 years. So my ex was an ex from about 23 years ago. Reason he's my ex? Got my friend preggers. When I confronted him he suggested we stay together and have threesomes. Yeah. Nope. FCK. What a 200 IQ play. I know this is a massive betrayal of trust that will take you years to recover from. But consider this. This was the worst one. We were in a long distance relationship. It wasn't working out for him though so he broke up with me. We still kept daily contact however. When he came back to visit, my city is his home. He told me that he missed me and so we hung out the entire week he was there. Had SX and all that. I was pretty sure we were going to make it work and get back together, that's what I was hoping, turns out. When he went back to his other country, I found out by luck that he was actually in a relationship with another girl. So yeah. He cheated on her with me. The best part? This was a girl that I had some red flags up on when we were still together and he was actually dating her while we were still together. Yup. Felt like a complete idiot and that's how he became my ex forever. I knew him for about 3 months and he wanted to know when he could ask my dad to marry me. He thought 6 months of dating would be good, and he had our whole life planned out. We were both only 17 at the time. Now he just sh talks me on Twitter months after we broke up. Faked a pregnancy when I tried to break up. Cheated, multiple times. 2 real suicide attempts when I tried to break up. Fake up pay claim threat when I tried to break up. My hands started sweating and my heart was racing when I saw pictures of her recently. This happened over 2 years ago. This tiny girl terrifies me. He cheated on me. His excuse was it wasn't anything s is all. I just wanted to show her my dick then she grabbed it and put it in her. Then I tripped and fell into her vagina. My girlfriend was verbally abusive on a regular basis. She would also get physically abusive when she drank too much. She wasn't really strong enough to hurt me seriously. But when the person you love starts trying to sucker punch you it is really frustrating. I still miss her a lot. 
Some days she was wonderful and the sweetest person ever. Others she was bitter. Angry. And would do anything to try to get a reaction out of me by insulting me. Started to become my insecure high school self after a while and had to give up. She dealt with a lot of really horrible abuse in her past and I didn't want to ever be the next abuser because of my own anger and frustration so I had to let her go. Still miss her. Still love her. Turned out the only thing we had in common was that we both liked to eat PSSY. I realized it was a toxic relationship when he got mad at me for not wearing makeup. Told me he was afraid I'd gain a lot of weight and wanted to feel he could have sx anytime he wanted. Guess you can't have spontaneous sx with a woman who's a little overweight. Jokes on him. I lost weight and he gained weight. My ex is an ex because he was manipulative and emotionally abusive. He also hated my friends and family. He tried telling me that they were toxic for me so I could never see them. She got sick of being taken for granted. And dealing with the effects of my insecurities. When I was nearly robbed. Before the story came out she said damn I didn't know that your great great grandparents medals were stolen. She fking hired two guys to rob me because I told her my brother was having a serious asthma attack and I'll be at the hospital. She wanted to show me that she found the medals. Edit. Because I'm a selfish asshole. Being a selfish asshole is fine if you're by yourself. And want to be that way. But other people tend to not like it very much when looking for company. I realized I was gay once I saw the guys she was cheating on me with. Can't beat M. Join M. Turns out I was the other woman. After two years. Dot. He was truly a phenomenal person but something just didn't click romantically. I just didn't feel the way I thought I should have felt about him. I had a good friend in school I had a hooooooj crush on. But he wasn't feeling the chemistry. It hurt. But god. I'm so glad he was upfront about it, while still remaining kind, instead of trying to pretend. We're still friends. But I'm with a guy who loves me exactly like I love him. And he found a wonderful woman who he has oodles of chemistry with. And we're both so much better for it. Because he wouldn't shut up and talked all the way through Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. According to her. She just lost her feelings for me. It's been 6 years and I still dream of her. He punched me in the face after a petty argument. Edit. Firstly. It doesn't matter what the argument was about. You don't abuse your partner. Secondly. I'm a guy too. Violence amongst gay couples is a silent issue that's rarely ever talked about and in my experience with friends it can be pretty damn ugly too. Thirdly. I'm not a violent person. However he did more than punch me after it when following me home and I hit him when he went to strangle me. It did nothing though as I'm soft as shti. Fourthly. I am okay thank you. Diagnosed with Adit. Comma. Early signs of dementia. Hypothyroidism and polycystic ovarian syndrome. She had to go back to her country to focus on her treatment and therapy. But we still talk to each other sometimes. Sucks cause she was the best person I've ever met. Because we were two different people in two different places in our life. Also BC she had a nasty habit of banging my friends. But that's besides the point. If you friends let her shag them. Then they are not your friends. He threatened suicide every few weeks. He constantly performed tests on me to see if I loved him enough or that I could be trusted. I always failed them. He would demand I stay up on the phone almost every night until 1am or later listening. Not talking. To him. I would be expected to stay awake and listen to his rambling anecdotes for hours silently. If I spoke. I'd make him lose his train of thought. If I fell asleep. I got screamed at or a day of the cold shoulder. These are just a few examples. I was a young teenager who got sucked into a cycle of psychological abuse for a few years. I'm fine now for the most part. Edit. To those replying that they've been through this too. I'm sorry. Edit too. I'm working through replies to this. And I'm noticing a lot of people are getting a down vote or two. 
It seems to be the comments which start with some variant of wow did we date the same person? Full stop. Whoever is doing this. Stop it. I don't like it. These people experienced a similar situation. And they deserve the same respect my own post has received. It was mutual after a couple big discussions. I wanted to travel. She didn't. I don't want to have children. And she did. I didn't want her f-king her ex. But she did. Go to decide on what your deal breakers are. I guess. Because I started using heroin and she cheated. Edit. Thanks for your support everyone. I know an ex junkie talking about a breakup isn't the funniest thing to listen to. Edit 2. Cause I was an insecure asshole who only worried about myself. One of the biggest FCK ups of my life. He ended up being crazier than I initially wanted to believe. Years of stalking after our breakup really did turn me into a paranoid freak. But in time I am doing a lot better. Lesson learned. He thought people finding out he was dating an Asian American would be embarrassing. Sibolet dodge but I wish I could say I was the one who decided that. Because I could predict the entirety of the rest of my life and I didn't like it. I would have taken over the family bakery and spent every day waking up at 3am to make donuts. 9am would be the start time for sausages. Leave the bakery at 4pm. Deposit the daily sales before the bank closes. Drive home and eat the unsold sausages for dinner. Watch TV for 1. 5 hours before falling asleep in a chair. Wake up at 3 a.m. Repeat. Forever. There was no joy in her father's eyes. Joy left years ago. Have you ever tried threading a sausage through a bunch of donuts and eating it like a hot dog? I feel like someone at that bakery has to have done that. An 8 year lasagna of me being noticeably depressed. Me not making continuous romantic gestures. A long term sense of complacency on both our parts and both of us gravitating towards opposite directions in life. I dated her for almost a decade, I'm 25. And our time together made me a better person. I'm grateful for the time we shared and don't regret it. But I've made my peace and spent nearly 2 years swallowing that bitter. Gargantuan pill. I wish her the best and view her in warm regard. But I don't want to be her friend or even cross paths with her ever again. Getting over the breakup had to be the hardest thing I've ever done. And picking that scab just to keep up the meaningless platitude of we can still be friends would be a waste of both of our time. Talk more about lasagna. Because he loved PRN more than he loved me and I was tired of raising the man that was supposed to be my partner. Stuck in a house with him for 4 years. Somehow got isolated and separated from everyone I knew. Couldn't leave the house out of fear. Heard him talking in at least 4 different personalities to himself. Threatened our pay if I didn't dare suily do what he wanted. Then turned around and claimed he hadn't said that. That I was confused. Killed my pet rat. Duck taped my dog's face closed. Took pictures and laughed with his friends. Finally lied through my teeth to get him out of the house long enough to leave him. Got stalked for 3 years. Cut my brake lines. I eventually moved states. 5 times. Guess I'm safe now. Edit. Didn't think this would get so much response. If anyone is concerned and needs help I'd been to feeing red flags. Or needs advice if they know they're in it and are terrified to get out you can message me separately if you'd like. That being said I know it's not easy to bring up to anyone. But sometimes it's the easiest talking to a stranger. She pushed me to reveal my secrets then used them to manipulate me. For some reason. She thought her Vegina was enough to keep me around and all she needed to bring to the table. Bye ho. She was the right person for me. I wasn't the right person for her. And just when we started to get really serious. My mental health took a serious nosedive that neither of us were expecting. She knew what I struggled with. But even I didn't know I could get as bad as I did then. Despite being madly in love with her. I ended up in a dark place. She decided she didn't want to put up with that. I don't blame her. But it's been hard. 
She left for another guy. She broke up with me in civilized manner. She said there is a guy at her uni she is really into and she doesn't feel the spark between us anymore. I was glad she was open with me instead of just cheating. This guy rejected her advances and she tried to get back with me. Well. You said it's over. It's over. She's been single for a few years now. P. After he got chemotherapy he started to take drugs like heroin and cocaine. He completely changed and I couldn't take it anymore. Another one beat me and s sorely abused me because he thought it would be funny to see me cry. That was his answer when I and a friend of mine who I told this confronted him about that. Edit 1. Wow that post got more attention than I thought it would. To clarify those were two different relationships. I was 17 when I broke up with the guy who got cancer. He survived the chemotherapy but he is still a heavy drug user. The other one I met when I was 19 years old. Thank god I got away fast enough before he could do anything worse to me. I got tired of waiting for him to come out of the closet and feeling like I was only in a part time relationship. She enjoyed having sex with another guy while we were engaged. He went away on a work trip 6 months into our marriage. And came home and told me. He decided he wanted kids but didn't think I'd be a good mother, because my own mother was abusive. So he left me for someone who looks almost exactly like me. Only 14 years younger. I was not involved with this decision. And I could not change his mind. I'm still trying to find my worth again. He had his mom texted me to break up with me just before a big vacation we were going to take together. We were both adults. Also his dog was extremely aggressive towards me, but T.I. would be too if I hadn't been walked in two weeks. Because I was an asshole overall. I never took the relationship. Or her. Serious. I wasted two years of her life. The worst part is it took me a while after we broke up for me to realize it really was my fault. I've changed a lot about myself since then. Abusive as FCK. Finally cut all contact with him and got him banned from my apartment building. Hasn't tried to contact me in months but I see him drive by almost every morning when I walk to the city bus stop. She stabbed me during an argument about whether ketchup should be kept in the fridge or the pantry. God damn. Step 1. Ketchup where? Step 2. Question mark? Step 3. Stabbing. She got pregnant and I'm not the father. Sociopath narcissist. Emotionally abusive. Not something they teach you about. It's very subtle how it happens. Traumatizing. Her mother told her to dump me. I met my amazing wife a few months after though and three kids and 20 years later we're still deliriously happy. Semicolon. So thanks Sarah's mum. Yeah mean old bitch who never thought I was good enough. He stopped being happy and left me. She gay. He wanted to have children. I didn't. It was a mutual breakup. But it still hurt like hell. He was an abusive. Drug addicted alcoholic who would drug me and who literally gaslighted me into multiple psychotic breaks. One day. After he shouted at me in front of his friend after I begged him to close the door so his friend wouldn't hear him. I just snapped and screamed and shouted in his face just to fking stop. And then he was the one that broke up with me. He turned to his friend and said she's a fking psycho. And that was that. It was my first relationship and it has really done a number on me and how I perceive normal relationships. I'm still trying to come to terms with it over a year later. Edit. I really didn't expect this to get any upvotes or to get the support that I have done. I just want to say thank you very much for all the well wishes. A lot of issues. As we were very young. And had been living together since 1820. But together since we were 16. We naturally drifted apart as in love as we were. Also had a habit of banging our close friend while I was working to make the rent. But the key reason is we were young. Cheated on me. Then blamed the guy's death on me.
He died in a motorcycle crash at speeds 200 plus kmh. He was at her place and I surprised her by showing up unexpectedly and he left out the back door. Accused me of having incestuous relationship with my mother and sister when I would choose to spend time with them instead of her. Threaten a false RP allegation when I wanted to join the military instead of staying home with her. She also was physically and emotionally abusive. Just an all around horrible little wh ray that broke me and gave me long lasting trust issues. This was almost 12 years ago now. And the affects are still present. Even after therapy. She was my first love I guess. She was the first Hesul partner. Looking back at it I should have listened to her father when he said I should run and I should have thought it was weird her mother and father was okay with a 16 year old sleeping in the same bed as their 14 year old daughter.